Hey everyone, what's up? Today we're diving into a bit of an unusual but important topic. Imagine this. You're checking out a new poster for a favorite game, and suddenly, it's like you've stumbled upon a hidden puzzle piece. But here's the twist. This piece looks a bit ominous, and everyone starts buzzing. Hey, isn't this kinda off? That's pretty much what's going down with the new War Thunder wallpaper drama. Now I gotta say, this feels like trending on eggshells to me. So right off the bat, let me be clear. I'm not here to point fingers or stir up drama. Got it? Cool. Let's dive in then. Alright, let's rewind a bit and start from square one. As you probably know, on June 19th, 2024, War Thunder dropped a massive update called Seek and Destroy. Many people are hyped about the new advanced missile system, the Fox 3. But here's where things take a turn. Along with the update, they released this new wallpaper. At first glance, it's all cool new aircraft, and everyone's like, wow, awesome. You can even see it in the launcher as well. But then, this eagle-eyed Reddit user spotted something fishy in the corner of the wallpaper. What caught their attention? The trail of a missile on the left side. Now, usually it's just a smoke, right? But this one, it rang a bell. And boy, were they on to something. Turns out, this smoke trail bore a strange resemblance to the tragic Challenger space shuttle disaster from 1986. You know, the one where the shuttle exploded about a minute after launch, claiming the lives of all seven astronauts. Heavy stuff, right? This discovery spread like wildfire online, from Reddit to X, everywhere. Everyone was buzzing about the similarity. Is it just a coincidence? Or is there more to it? While everyone was scratching their heads, guising, the developers realized they had a situation on their hands. On June 23rd, Gaijin dropped an apology on their official forum. The gist, or bad, this was a complete mix-up. According to them, the Challenger image somehow snuck into the reference pack their artists were using, but somewhere along the line, the crucial context that this was a record of a tragic accident got lost in the shuffle. They promised to change the problematic image as soon as possible and promised to put measures in place to prevent such slip-ups in the future. So, what do you make of all of this? Personally, I was impressed by how quickly the dev team addressed it. Before I came across the apology, my mind was racing, did they use AI? Did they just Google missile smoke and slap it on? But as I dug deeper, I stumbled upon their apology forum post, which I've shared with you. I hope this video gave you a clear, concise rundown of what went down. If you think I've nailed it, I'll be grateful if you could give a like and drop your thoughts in the comments below.